What's up guys, this is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review, here to compare some shoes for your friends and you. All right, so today we're gonna have the very first sneaker battle that I have ever had on this channel. I am going to take two shoes and I am going to compare them and give you my final verdict as to which one is better. And today I am gonna be picking two Yeezy Boost 350 V2s and uh, two recent ones, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the details of those and then choosing which one I would personally rock before the other. All right, so without further ado, let's get into both shoes. All right, so I think this is gonna be a tough battle because personally, I like both pairs of these shoes right here. All right, so the Yeezy 350 Boost uh, V2s, the, the natural colorway that I have here, I've had this pair for a couple months now and I have worn it a ton. You can see these dirty bottoms right here. Um, I've definitely got some dirt around the midsoles, but I need to clean these up a little bit. But I have worn these to death since I've had them. This was the first pair of 350 V2s that I had in the collection. Um, so, I don't know, I've just been wearing them a ton because I, I had never worn them. And, I mean, they're just a stupid, comfortable shoe. Um, look really good. Yeah, so I've had this pair for a while now. I just got this pair in, and this is a brand new colorway for the 350 V2. And this is the sand taupe colorway right here. Taupe is one of my wife's favorite colors. And you guys can see that brown earth tone right here. It almost looks like the uh, the Yeezy 350 V2 Earth and the 350 V2 Clay had a baby. And then this was uh, the outcome because you can see the all brown upper, but then with that crazy orange or rust colored stripe going down the side of the shoe right there. So anyway, let's get into the comparison between the two of them. All right, so for two shoes like this, obviously a lot of uh, this battle is gonna come down to personal preference as to what you like more, all right? So let's start with the colorways. I've got the 350 V2 here, the natural, that's got that gold ribboning in that white upper, all right? And then you've got that brown upper with that orange or rust colored stripe up at the top there, okay? Both of these have infinity laces, all right? So they are not cut. If you wanted to cut them and add regular laces, you could. But right now, they are just stuck together and you would just pull them to tighten them, all right? So one thing about the naturals is that every pair of the naturals was reflective. Um, you might be able to see a little bit in the ring light here. If not, I'll post a picture up um, so that you guys can see that these are reflective. Uh, the sand topes are not reflective. So point to the naturals right there in the fact that this has a reflective version. Every one of these was actually reflective. It's not a reflective version necessarily, but everybody that got a pair of the naturals has a reflective shoe. Uh, this is not a reflective shoe, and I don't even know that they came out with a reflective version of this pair of shoes. All right, so depending on if you like the contrast of bottoms or outsoles, right? The sand taupe has a darker outsole, and you can see that it wraps up on the back of the shoe here, than it does a midsole, whereas the natural has a lighter outsole, as you can see here, versus the midsole, which is more yellow and aged. So whether you like that darker outsole as a better contrast or that lighter outsole that, you know, doesn't provide as much of a contrast, that could be a point to you guys as to what uh, uh, colorway that you gravitate to, you know? So I kind of like the darker outsole of the, um, sand taupe. Okay. Because it just gives it a little more pop and contrast. Okay. For the outsole of the shoe. So I kind of like that darker outsole a little better than the lighter outsole for the naturals. So getting into the midsoles a little bit, I think I like this aged yellow midsole a little more than I like this lighter brown midsole right here. Um, the lighter brown does show through to the boost a little more. It looks a little more semi-translucent in my opinion than the yellow does, but I think I like the aged look a lot better, you know, cause it already looks like it's got some wear on it. I don't have to worry about it yellowing um, as we move forward in wearing it, you know, for, for hopefully months and months to come. But so I really like that yellow aged midsole versus this semi-translucent brown midsole. Now, I do like the pop of color, okay? So you can see on the outside of the shoe, running up from the toe 
to the heel, that orange or rust colored stripe. I do like the pop of color on the sand taupe pair of Yeezy 350 V2s right here. On the naturals, you have a darker stripe because of that uh, reflective material that's added up there. So you can see the tan is a little darker on the outside of the shoe than the inside of the shoe right there. But it doesn't really provide as much contrast as that crazy orange or clay uh, stripe that you see running down the sand taupe 350 V2s. Okay, so I've showed you guys both silhouettes, or sorry, both colorways, same silhouette, of both of these shoes, okay? Um, I've run over a little bit of the details that I think can be compared and contrasted here. Um, so I want you guys to comment down below what you would choose between the two of them. Um, for me, I am going to declare the winner of this sneaker battle the Yeezy 350 V2s in the natural colorway. I just like the gold ribboning. Um, I love that yellow outsole. And I just think these might be a little easier to rock uh, with anything that I put on versus the brown. But both are dope colorways for a 350 V2. Can't go wrong. If you don't have any 350 V2s, I recommend that you grab a pair. Uh, both of these are great starter pairs. You know, before you get into the, the crazier zebras or the breads or whatever that cost a little more. Uh, both of these are great starter pairs of 350 V2s. So anyway, uh, you guys comment down below what two shoes you'd like me to put into a battle next. I'd like to start comparing different silhouettes versus the same silhouette and colorways. Um, so let me know down below what two shoes you would like me to uh, have battle put into the arena and declare who comes out the victor, okay? All right, so please uh, go like, subscribe, comment, um, and I will see you guys soon. I appreciate you tuning in. Stay safe, stay blessed. We will see you soon. Peace out.